What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's Money Fan time. It's not a pickup video or anything like that, but I thought I'd make a fun little video here for the first time ever on my YouTube channel. I'm doing a predictions video, and this is Mighty Fans 2011-2012 NFL predictions video. Um, I didn't make a video last year. I wanted to, and it, it just never happened, and uh, I was remiss that I did not make a video because my prediction became the correct prediction for the team to win the Super Bowl last year, which was, of course, the Packers. I had, you know, a little friendly conversation with some friends last year. We made predictions. I said the Packers are going to win the Super Bowl as my last prediction that we made. Uh, I forget who I had them beating. It wasn't Pittsburgh, but, uh, you know, it may have been New England or one of those teams. Uh, it was the Jets. That's who it was. It was the Packers and the Jets in the Super Bowl. Um, but, um, the Packers went on to win the Super Bowl last year. So, unfortunately, I don't have it on YouTube here to go back and re relive the tape. But take my word for it, that was my prediction in, in 2010, 2011, going on to the Super Bowl 45. Um, so, for the 2011-2012 season, I thought I would make a, a uh, Mighty Fans NFL predictions video and stick it here on YouTube for what it's worth, just for fun. Uh, and let's see how right my predictions are come the end of the year. I'm not an expert, although I do play one on YouTube. So, for this video. Uh, so ESPN, if you're watching, yeah. <laughs> if my predictions come to provision, you might want to look me up. But anyhow, um, let's get right to it. I'm gonna In these predictions, I'm going to make uh, division winners, the Super Bowl matchup, the Super Bowl winner. Um, I'm going to do some, you know, some improved teams who I feel teams that could be improved this year, uh, maybe even some surprise teams, some teams to look out for. Uh, and I may or may not do MVPs. I'm not really 100% on that. I might, you know, slide them in at the end just for fun, but, you know, we'll see what we see. But first of all, we're going to start with my predictions for the division winners, division champions for 2011-2012, the NFL season. Back to football. <laughs> And as, you, as we should know by now, my favorite team in the NFL is the Philadelphia Eagles. Hey, it's where I'm from. You know, it's what I got. You know, it's the team I support, even though they never have won a Super Bowl. But, hey, <laughs> that means that we're definitely going to know how to enjoy it once that day does come. <laughs> and uh, so I got my Eagles shirt on here. I was watching the Eagles backups beat the Jets backups in the last preseason game. Uh, of the preseason. Uh, so it's backups playing backups, but hey, it's still football. But at any rate, uh, we're going to start with the division, uh, my picks for the division champions, and we're going we're gonna to start in the Eagles Conference, the NFC, and we're going to go to the, out west to east. So we're going to start out in the NFC West. Now this division last year was really, I mean, you can call it the muck division. I mean, it was just... It was bad. <laughs> I believe the winner of the division, of course, being the Seahawks, I think if I remember correct, they finished 7-9. and nine, But they did win that seventh game, the last game of the season against the Rams to get the division title. And then, of course, they had that, you know, that that um, that that uh, really wild, wild card weekend uh, home playoff game win against the then defending Super Bowl champion uh, New Orleans Saints. So, uh, uh, uh Interesting, uh, you know, uh, interesting game that that was, and the fact that the Seahawks were able to win with a losing record, they still were able to beat a team as good as the Saints in the first round at home. So it just goes to show, hey, if you get in to the playoffs, anything can happen. But, um, of course, the team they beat out last season was the St. Louis Rams. And my prediction for the NFC West, as tough as it is to predict that division, because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of it in that division with all due respect. Um, but I'm going to go with the team that finished runner-up to the Seahawks last year. I'm going to predict the St. Louis Rams to win that division. Maybe another 7-9 and nine record wins that division, maybe 8-8. Eight and eight. Um, But I will say this. Uh, my Eagles will beat the Rams in week one <laughs> in St. Louis. So the Rams will be 0-1 to start the season. But after that, they'll do enough to win the division. So says Mighty Fan. So anyhow, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so I got the Rams winning the NFC West. Now let's go to the NFC North. And, of course, we have the defend the home of the defending Super Bowl champion, Green Bay Packers. Um, you know, the NFC North has always been interesting. I mean, there's a lot of big-time battles in that division. Of course, the, the Packers and the Bears, you know, the big rivalry that that is. And the Lions, hey, they're getting better. The Lions are, you know, in the mix. The Vikings, I mean, we'll see what they do. Our old friend Donovan McNabb is now the <laughs> – quarterback in Minnesota, so we'll see what happens there. But my pick for the uh, winner of the NFC North for 2010-2011, I mean, how can you not pick the Packers, right? So I got to go with the Packers. They are the defending Super Bowl champions, and they are so with good reason. Uh, so they're very talented, both ends of the ball. Uh, you know, unless Aaron Rodgers and, – and, and look, these picks, are, of course, as anyone makes picks – you know, anything can happen. I mean, Rodgers can go down in week one, and that could do it for the Packers. I mean, you never know. But I'm making the predictions as they as I, they stand now, being September 1st of 2011 before the season even starts. So my prediction for the NFC North winner is the Green Bay Packers. You just you can't go against the Packers, you know. Um, the NFC South. Very competitive division in my in my estimation, the best division in the NFC. I mean, you got you got the Falcons who won the division last year. You got the Saints. Of course, they were you know a Super Bowl champ just you know a few seasons ago. You know, you got the Buccaneers who were a surprise team last year, won a bunch of games. Uh, and you know the Panthers who you know weren't very good last year, but you know th they have some new pieces in now. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what Cam Newton and company does down there in Carolina. Very tough division. This this was the division that I really racked my brain about. I, I kept going back and forth between a few teams in that division, and in the end, the conclusion that I came up with was the team that won the division last year, the Falcons, will go ahead and win the division again this year. A lot of firepower on that offense, with all due respect to the Saints, obviously, with Drew Brees and company. But the Falcons, you got Matt Ryan, you got, you know, Roddy White, you got the, the ageless Tony Gonzalez, <laughs> who I have on my fantasy team <laughs> this year. Um, you know, Julio Jones, good-looking rookie, and, and, of course, Michael Burner turner It's a very – and, you know, they, they play great at home. So, um it's, it's tough to pick against the Falcons in that division, and it was so hard. I mean, it's a coin flip. I mean, Falcons, Saints, Falcons, Saints. Uh, you know, the Bucks will be in the mix too, but I, I still don't think they're quite ready to make that jump. So I'm going to go with the Falcons. I'm going to go with Matty Ice uh, and, and the Atlanta Falcons to repeat as NFC South Division champions. The NFC East, my division, the Eagles division, who do you think I'm going to pick? The Redskins, no. <laughs> Fooled you. <laughs> of course, I'm going to go with my Philadelphia Eagles. I'm not just doing that because of all the moves they made in the offseason. You know, this is a team that won the division last year, um, you know, and, and had a really, really good year. I mean, Mike Vick, you know, it's the Mike Vick experience version two. <laughs> and um, just so many weapons on offense and their defense, um, you know, um, you know, definitely, you know, made some improvements in the offseason. Uh, yes, there's questions, obviously. The offensive line, they're starting two rookies, and you never know. Um, but I still feel the Eagles are the, the best team in the division, and I still feel that they will win the division, the NFC East. So there you go. All right, let's move over to the AFC. Now, the AFC, of course, a lot of really good teams in the AFC. Um, and we're going to start, in the, again, we're going to go west to east. So the AFC West. Ah. <laughs> you know, it's an interesting division because I know the Chiefs won last year, and they were one of the surprise teams last year. Won a bunch of games in the regular season and then fell flat on their face in the playoffs against the Ravens. You know, the Chiefs definitely have a lot of firepower. Now, you, you, you talk about teams with firepower. You know, you, you know the, the I mentioned I mentioned the Falcons, the Saints, you know the Packers, uh, my Eagles, of course. Well, in the AFC, there's quite a few teams with some power, firepower too, and the Chiefs are one of those teams. Um, you know, they got Charles, Bo, Castle. I mean, they have some pieces there on offense. Um, the thing about the Chiefs, though, is that I, I like what they're doing in Kansas City. I do, but. 
can they repeat what they did last year? You know, kind of an unexpected season, just come out of the blue and, you know, and play that well. Sometimes it's tough to repeat that performance. Now, if the team's good enough, they'll do it. But I don't think they're just ready just enough, just right now. And I look at that team in San Diego, and I look at the quarterback in San Diego and Phillip Rivers. He's the best quarterback in that division. Now, teams with the best quarterback in their division don't always win. But, you know, I, I understand that. But I think the Chargers had an off season last year, and I think they're ready to rebound this year and reclaim the AFC West title. Um, so I'm picking the San Diego Chargers as the AFC West winners. You look at the AFC South, the Colts division, <laughs> right? For many years, it's not going to change this year. The Colts going to win again. <laughs> hey, until they lose it, they're going to win again. <laughs> I like what the Texans are doing. I mean, you, you know, I mentioned about, again, the firepower, you know, uh, that some of these teams have. And obviously the Texans have it. I mean, they have the Beast, Andre Johnson. You know, they got Schaub. And it's, a, it's a good offense. But defensively, can they do enough? And that's always been the, the, the question for the Texans, at least in recent years. So until they prove that they can, I'm going to go with the proven team. I'm going to go with the Colts to repeat as AFC South Division champs. You go over to the AFC North, the black and blue division. <laughs> you got the defending AFC champion Pittsburgh Steelers, and you got the Baltimore Ravens. And then you got two teams in Ohio. <laughs> so, with all due respect to the Browns and the Bengals, I don't think they'll be in the mix this year. I like what the Browns are doing. You know, they're starting to do some good things. They got the cover boy of Madden this year, Peyton Ellis. I got him on my fantasy team, by the way. I'm pretty running back strong in the league that I have. <laughs> I have Peterson, Rice, Hillis. I'm doing okay in running back in my fantasy league. But anyhow, you know, but they're not there yet. They just aren't. So it's going to be the Steelers and it's going to be the Ravens. It's kind of like the, you know, in baseball you have the – the um, American League East. You got the Yankees and you got the Red Sox. It's going to be one or the other. You know. So, <laughs> the AFC North, it's going to be the Steelers. It's going to be the Ravens. It's going to be one or the other. <laughs> and my pick for the AFC North, and again, this is such a tough pick. It's a coin flip pick. It really is. Both teams are very good, solid, both ends of the ball. I mean, obviously, the Steelers, I mean, you know. It never changes in Pittsburgh. Does a defense and run the ball. <laughs> never changes, but it works. It works. Um, my feeling is this. Until the Ravens can step up and smack the Steelers in the mouth, the Steelers are going to win the division. The Ravens to this point, and they, they, again, I mean, this is a coin flip for me. Until the Ravens can stand up and smack the Steelers in the mouth and take that division, the Steelers are going to win the division. So, once again, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with the Steelers in the division. And, again, coin flip. I mean, it could go either way. It really could. But i got to go with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Again, a proven commodity. Until the Ravens smack them, the Steelers are going to win the division. AFC East. Another two-horse race, in my opinion. Now, the Dolphins and the Bills are, you know, in that division, too. They're not there. <laughs> They're not ready to make the move. <laughs> so, like it was in the AFC North, in the AFC East, you got the Patriots and you got the Jets. You got Rex Ryan and you got Belichick. It's going to be one or the other. <laughs> and... Um, my thought on the AFC East is this. The New York Jets smacked the Patriots in the mouth last year in the playoffs. They did what the Ravens couldn't do with the Steelers. So my pick for the AFC East, and again, it's a coin flip pick. This thing can go either way. My pick in the AFC East to win the division is the J-E-T-S, Jet, Jet, Jets. And I'm sorry to the New England fans out there, but you guys have won enough in years. <laughs> In recent years, okay? <laughs> so, I gotta give something to another team that's not in New England. 
So I'm going to go with Rex and the Jets. That's right, AFC East Division champs for 2011-2012. Um, you know, and I know that there's a lot of people out there that Rex, you know, rubs the wrong way. Hey, he's a Philly guy, all right? We are fans that wear our emotions on our sleeves. When he was young, he grew up in Philly with his dad, Buddy, coaching the Eagles. And Rex Ryan is a Philadelphia sports fan. He wore a, a Mitchell and Ness, Dave Schultz Flyers jersey to a Hurricanes game once in Carolina. And then they like made him take him off, take it off, and wear some Hurricanes jersey. But yeah, <laughs> hey, he's a Philly guy. He's one of us. So what am I going to go against him here? Go with Bill Belichick? No, <laughs> I'm not going with the hoodie here. I'm going with Rex Ryan. <laughs> but um, any rate, so those are my predictions. That's my predictions for the division champions of the NFC and the AFC. You can argue amongst yourselves as to whether I was good with my predicting or not. But you know what? It's my prediction. <laughs> so there you go. You want to make predictions, make your own video. <laughs> but okay. Let's get let's get to the to to, to let's get down to it. Okay? Well, all right. Oh, well, I should also point out my picks for the wild card winners, right? Like the Seahawks last no, no, the Seahawks won the division. I'm sorry. The Saints won the wild card, though. <laughs> and look where that got. <laughs> but no. Um, yeah, a little brain freeze there for a second. But at any rate. Um, okay, like the... Nope, speaking of wild card, like the Packers last year. They won the wild card. They won the Super Bowl. So, hey, wild card is very important, right? You have a lot of teams that have been wild cards that have done well in the playoffs. Just look at the last season with the Packers. All right, so my predictions for the wild cards, AFC, NFC. We're going to start, this time I start in the AFC. I'm going to start in the AFC this time. The two wild cards. All right, so wild card number one's got to be the Baltimore Ravens. Wild card number two's got to be the New England Patriots. It's just how it is. I don't think I need much explanation as to those picks. And the NFC, this is where it gets a little interesting for me. My wild card uh uh, teams in the NFC for this year's postseason uh, will be the New Orleans Saints, who just missed out on the division to the to the Falcons. And here is my team. This is my this is my dark horse team for 2011 2012 because I really like what they have done in recent years. And that's gonna be, yeah, that's right. Stand up, Motor City. Your Detroit Lions. They will be in the playoffs this year. They will be a wild card team in the NFC. That's right. That's right. You heard it from Mighty Fan. The Detroit Lions will make the playoffs this year. Now, I know some of you are saying, well, what about the Bears? I have a theory on the Bears. <laughs> and I, I don't mind the Bears. Hey, look, you know, I don't mind them. My theory on the Bears is they had a good year last year. You know, they got to the NFC title game where they lost to the division rival Packers at home. Sorry if I brought up a sore subject there, Bear fans. But look, I've noticed something about the Chicago Bears in recent years. Every time they have a good year and, like, make the playoffs and make a run, the next few years they kind of go into hibernation. <laughs> so, <laughs> that being said, as the fact that the Bears went to the NFC title game last year, lost, but they got there, you might not hear from them this year. <laughs> it's just my observation. Hey, I could be wrong. Hey, but that's just what I've seen in recent history with with the Bears. Um, they're a good team. They're a solid team. I'm not saying they're not, but something going on in Detroit. There's something. I, that front four on defense, I mean, that's just nasty. And if Stafford stays healthy, and again, look, these picks could go down the drain if players get hurt, but so can anyone's picks, right? Stafford stays healthy this year. Look out in the Motor City, because they, you know, they could they could be a you know a nine nine win team this season and, and sneak in there as a wild card. That's just my prediction. That's how I see it happening. Hey, you know, but that's right. Uh, so those are my playoff. Predictions. Those are the teams that I feel will make the playoffs as division champs and as wild cards. Now we're going to go to the Super Bowl. We're going to go straight to the Super Bowl. The heck with the, you know, who's going to beat who in the playoffs. I'm just going right to the Super Bowl because that's the game that counts the most. 
All right. This is Mighty Fan's Super Bowl prediction for Super Bowl 46 in Indianapolis. All right? That's right. It took a while for me to figure this out. It really did. I mean, I've, 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 I've just kept thinking of different teams and different scenarios and what could happen and this and that and the other thing. When it boils right down to it, I made my prediction of this the other day. And... I was starting to think of putting another team in there, but I already made my prediction. I'm going to stick to it. My prediction for Super Bowl 46, the winner of the NFC, my Philadelphia Eagles. Well, who do you think I'm going to say? <laughs> the Packers again. <laughs> so, so I have my Eagles representing the NFC and representing the AFC. Now, this is a matchup that I've wanted to see for a while, so I'm hoping that it happens this year. I've picked this before, and I was real close one year to this happening, the year the Eagles went to the Super Bowl and lost to the Patriots. We're not going to bring that up. But the um, their opponent in Super Bowl 46 will be the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh, yes, there will be a Steagle Bowl this year, my friends. There will be a Steagle Bowl. <laughs> And I know, I know, I know. You're all saying, well, sometimes a team that loses in the Super Bowl the next year, it's so hard to get back, and that's absolutely correct. But it's my prediction. <laughs> Logic doesn't always have anything to do with it. <laughs> so I'm going to go with a Stiegel Bowl. All Pennsylvania. Eastern PA versus Western PA. And if you get Joe Paterno in there somehow, that could just, you know... <laughs> It can be just all pen all the football Pennsylvania can handle. <laughs> Maybe he can like uh, do the coin flip or something like that. I don't know. But anyhow, that's right. The Eagles and the Steelers. Yes, yes. As Jewel Two B says, yes. That's my prediction. And who's gonna win the Super Bowl? Who do you think I'm gonna say? Come on, the Eagles. <laughs> the dream finally comes true. Hey. The dream came true for Red Sox fans those years ago. Let's not forget that. So things can happen. <laughs> I mean, you know, if the Saints can win the Super Bowl, <laughs> if the Buccaneers can win the Super Bowl, <laughs> the Eagles certainly can win the Super Bowl. <laughs> it has to happen. Law of averages. And why not this season after making all those moves that they made? Yes. So those are my predictions. Uh, I mean, surprise teams, NFC, I mean the Lions. I, I don't know if that's a big surprise to some people out there. I know the Lions are, kind, you know, they have a lot of talent. Uh, certainly have put together quite a front four there on de defense with Sue and company. Um, but, yeah, I think they will be a surprise team and make the playoffs this year. Um, in the AFC, um, you know, a surprise team. Although, you know, surprise meaning – Big surprise, probably not, but, you know, the Chargers, after the season that they had last season, I, I, I do see them rebounding and making the playoffs. Um, you know, most improved teams, I mean, to me in the, in the NFC, I mean, yeah, you know, the Lions have been downtrod for many years, so you got to put them up as one of the more – most improved teams in the AFC. In the AFC, you know what, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say this, I'm going to say Denver Broncos. Yeah, I think the Broncos rebound and have a nice year this year. I, you know, things fell apart for them last season. I think they have a better year this year, maybe even finish second in the division uh, behind San Diego. But I do think that they, they could be an improved uh, team in the uh, in the AFC. And I am a Florida Gator fan, so, you know, I you know, you, you know where I stand with who should be starting in Denver. <laughs> and if you're not going to start them, why don't you just trade them in Miami or something like that? I mean, you know. <laughs> Yes, I speak of Tim Tebow. But at any, <laughs> any rate, um, so those are my predictions for the NFL season 2010-2011. Um, hey, I'm an Eagles fan. Maybe I made the prediction with my heart. And you know what they say sometimes when you make predictions with your heart, it kind of blows up <laughs> as the season goes on. But, <laughs> but. Uh, I did correctly predict the winner of last year's Super Bowl, the Packers, and I did correctly predict the Phillies to win the World Series before the, the 2008 season. So, hey, I'm, I'm on a little bit of a roll, and I'm just hoping that that roll continues on with a parade come 
February in Philadelphia for the Eagles, for the long-suffering Eagle fans out there, <laughs> like myself, who have yet to see one, hopefully that ends, the, the drought ends this season with the Eagles being victorious over the Steelers in the Super Bowl. So, again, that's my predictions for the 2010-2011 season. I hope you all enjoyed this. If anyone want, you know, the Jersey Heads out there, my fellow Jersey Heads or any, you know, viewers want to make your own predictions for the upcoming season, feel free. Um, I know that uh, one of the guys that I'm subscri subscribed to, one of my fellow Philadelphia Eagle fans, the mighty E-Rock, he made his predictions. He has the Eagles over the Patriots. Um, getting a little revenge from Super Bowl 39. That would be great if that could happen. But my prediction is uh, is the Eagles over the Steelers. We're going to just keep it in Pennsylvania. <laughs> and, um, yes, unfortunately to the to the Steelers uh, fans out there, you, you guys are going to have to watch your uh, beloved Steelers lose two straight Super Bowls. But, hey, you know, it, 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 the, the Vincent Lombardi Trophy will stay in the, in the state of Pennsylvania. So, you know. <laughs> um. But, yes, so that's going to do it for me. That's going to do it for my prediction. I'm going to try to make this an annual event here on YouTube. It's just fun. And you know what? If the predictions don't come true, well, <laughs> I'm not an expert, but I play one on YouTube. So, <laughs> any rate, YouTube, that's going to do it for Mighty Fan. Uh, big shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you all so much for you know subscribing to my channel. Um, keep watching because i got many more videos on the works. Um, so there you go. Uh, shout as <laughs> shout as always to all my fellow Jersey heads as well, all my fellow football heads out there. Um, hey, happy happy new season year. <laughs> I should have like confetti or a horn or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, any rate, big shout out to everyone, all my family, all my friends. Big shout out to you guys too. This is my fan saying peace. I'll see you next video. All right, go Eagles. Bye.